guys it's Aderonke as usual and today I want to talk about the Yoruba pet names for women so I want to look at Alaje Tabi I want to look at Adakwe the pet names for women so a nickname would be Oruko Alaje or Oruko Adakwe these are just names that you began to bear at some point like when you were born or you were christened they were not necessarily given to you you know formally just names that you're called nicknames an appellation would be oruko anije oruko anije they are names as well oruko anije just a name that you have and you bear an epith epithetic name would be oruko inagije oruko inagije epithetic in the sense that there would be something about you that would uh you know be the reason why you're being called that so if you're tall and you're called maybe like tolingo or something just in quotes now that is not that has nothing to do with the yoruba you know people but let's just say you're called that it would be because you're tall so it would be epithetic in that sense or just something about you your person or something that happened in your past or in your family or just something about you that has something to do with you that describes you in some way would be an epithetic name and it would be Oruko Inogije Oruko Inogije an alias would be Oruko Akweje Oruko Akweje you know so let's say that your name your real name is maybe john thomas you know and you write as oliver twist for example that's not your name it's just a name that you've given yourself an alias would be oruko akpeje a name that your that uh, people call you akpe pe call je is answer people call you and you answer but it's not necessarily oruko abiso like the name that you the name that you received on the day that you were born so you get the drift so who would call you these names you know wh who are the people that would call you these names it would be your lover for example you know one of these names would be one of the names that your lover would call you or name you as a pet name it could be you know your aunt your uncle just random members of the community uh sometimes even one's parents <laughs> sometimes but usually it will be outsiders you know that would call people these names let's say that my father takes a second wife for example and she comes in even if she's like 40 you know and i'm 10 years old she's not supposed to call me Ronke supposed to call me any one of these names that i'm that i'm going to mention you know i'm i'm going to get to it but she's not supposed to call me my name because um like she has to it's not even about seniority it's because like she met me in the house you know i was already born before she came in so i know more about the house and how things run in the house than her like even if it's just a little bit you know i know more but i've i've been in the setting before her so she would not call me ronke you know it's not proper in the yoruba community she would call me a pet name or any one of these names that i'm about to mention it may not even necessarily be like my father it could be my uncle if he gets married now his wife is not supposed to call me ronke you know she's new to the family whether it's a nuclear family or an extended family she's new to it so she's not supposed to call anyone <laughs> virtually anyone even the children in the house by their first names you know they're kind of seniors in a sense you know they're they're she's not uh, it's it's not proper so she would call them any one of these female pet names for the women or for the children or male pet names for which i'm going to make after this one i don't have that video up yet so you get the drift so the following nicknames that i'm going to mention are the nice nicknames or pet names you know you wouldn't find any nasty one here although we have nasty ones 
their their pet names for thieves or nicknames for thieves for example their nicknames or pet names for nymphomaniacs like they could get called names like you know madokoku <laughs> you know Vokoshere, you know and and all sorts lale you know they get they are different nasty nicknames but i'm not going to address any of them in this video i'm just going to talk about the nice nicknames and nice pet names so the following names that i'm going to mention would fall under these categories would fall under nicknames appellations epithetic names pet names you know or or even it could be an alias for example you know so these names that i'm going to mention would fall under uh w these categories first of all we have omoge 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 is a contraction of omo oge omo oge omo is child oge is fashion or beauty so omoge is a child of fashion or beauty and in the yoruba community you would often call a young lady or a spinster especially one that you find beautiful or attractive but not necessarily omoge omoge wa omoge come you know a synonym of omoge is sisi sisi a young girl or lady or a spinster usually there are certain married people that still get called sisi you know or sisi me or something but sissy would be young girl or lady or spinster and it's usually used to address a young lady as well you know especially one that you consider beautiful or attractive or not necessarily sissy just emphasizes that you know the lady is young you know sissy what you know it's just a nice uh name or nickname to give you know a lady sissy sissy me or sissy you know or an epithetic name or whatever but sissy is uh another one so we have several names we have names in reference to the buttocks or hips nicknames or pet names in reference to the buttocks or hips and uh, the first one in reference to one of these two would be ibadiana that's the name the nickname or the pet name ibadiana ibadi ana ibadi is hips or hip Ips basically <laughs> Ibadi Ips Arna Ar Arna is velvet Asho Arna is velvet cloth Arna velvet so the translation of Ibadiara is the Ips of velvet or the Ips for velvet clothing that's the transliteration now so you would call a lady that has beautiful hips or just a nice body or just gorgeous ibadiano by mentioning velvet because velvet was like a high class you know clothing material back then if you were born and ashuano was used to like um support you when you're backed you know when you're placed on your back on your mother's back you know it shows that you're kind of affluent in a sense so aron is a signifactor of like class wealth so you're saying you're not just beautiful or gorgeous or they have it you're saying they are classy in a way now it, it, if you're called this name it doesn't necessarily mean that maybe your hips are beautiful or you're gorgeous or it's just you know and if you say oh uh gorgeous lady to someone if you call someone a gorgeous lady whether or not they think they're gorgeous or like whether or not in essence they're gorgeous you're being polite and kind and whatnot to them so sometimes it may not literally apply like there might be one really nice name that a person could get called and it may not be anything like that but just as a sense of familiarity they get called that but usually usually people often have the traits of the names they're called so someone who has gorgeous hips for example could be called ibadiano moving on we have still in reference to the buttocks or the hips we have ilekedi ilekedi or you could flip it the other way around and you could say idileke idileke ilekedi idileke and the translation is botox beads botox beads you know and that's what it literally means and 
it's what you would call a beautiful girl or lady. Beautiful. Ileke is beads. You know, bead. ED is buttocks. The kind of beads that are worn around the, the buttocks are the ones that, you know, kind of beautify ladies and sort of emphasize their femininity and, uh, you know, emphasize their curves in a way. So, beads beautify generally. So, you're calling them beautiful by calling them ileke di. So, in reference to the body of stature, the first one is opelenge, opelenge, and it's a noun for slim, slim. So, the lady that you will call opelenge is a lady or girl that is graciously slim or graciously thin. Opelenge. So, if someone calls you opelenge, they are saying, oh, you're so slim, you know, and, you, and you're beautiful. For someone who is plumpy you would call them ayiluko ayiluko oko is husband yi is turn or roll so ayiluko a is one or the one lu is um into or against so ayiluko is the one who rolls into her husband in bed and it's usually uh, used for a girl or lady that is graciously plump or rotund. So Back then there were no magazines and there were no books that would tell you oh you you have to be like Really thin to be considered beautiful So that's a nice nickname or pet name to be called if you're plump or rotund Ayiluko, you know it shows that you're plump and rotund but by mentioning the husband Oko is husband by mentioning the husband, they're saying, you know, you're, you're still attractive in a way. You're still sensual, pleasing to the eyes. Or not necessarily you are still, because that would be saying, oh, it's just like, oh, you are still. It's like, you are, you know, you are pretty, you are. But nowadays, you know, being thin is considered the standard of beauty. We have, in reference to the body of stature, in reference to the height, we have Akuru Yejo. Akuru yejo, akuru yejo, and the translation is the short one that dance befits, or the short one that dances beautifully. Akuru yejo, and the usage would be for a girl or a lady that is short in height, probably due to dwarfism, but not necessarily. So there were Yoruba little people, and they would be called akuru yejo. When you are short, you dance like better than a person who is tall because the tall one would literally have to bend so much in order to dance and do stunts and whatnot but if you're short you're closer to the ground and you're closer to like balance and whatnot so it's a nice name to get called if you're short Akuriyejo. another name is lepa another nickname or pet name is lepa and it means slim or thin and you would call a lady that is graciously slim or thin lepa lepa another one is orobo 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 and it's plump or fat orobo and it's the name that you call a girl or lady that is graciously plump or fat these days it's tending to i don't know come across to people as a sort of insult when you call them orobo because everyone wants to be slim like i said because of you know the internet and mass media and books and whatnot being slim is the standard you know you're not even allowed to have any flesh anymore so orobo if you call people orobo now they don't take it as a pet name anymore like they take it as sort of an insult like certain people they don't want to be orobo they want to be lepa so um i don't know and but some people some people are cool with it so i mean use your discretion when you're going to call someone horrible moving on pet names in reference to beauty in reference to beauty we have ewa ewa beauty and you would call a beautiful girl ewa so if you decide to call me ewa or nickname me ewa today it means that you consider me beautiful. If you decide to stop calling me Ronke tomorrow and you call me Ewa, 
remains you consider me beautiful we have elewa <laughs> elewa it's just like ewa but this one is the one who has or owns beauty elewa and you, you're saying beautiful as well so if i this if you call me elewa tomorrow or you nickname me elewa you start to call me elewa you're saying i'm be i own beauty i'm beautiful i have beauty elewa another one in reference to beauty is oreke lewa oreke lewa a beautiful damsel is what it means and if you call someone oreke lewa or you nickname someone oreke lewa you're saying you're a beautiful damsel you're beautiful another one is arewa arewa it could mean two things ara could be the body and ara could be one who buys so you are either saying arewa the one with a beautiful body or you're saying the one who purchases beauty you know someone who is classy someone who can afford things that can make them beautiful in a sense i mean that's the those are some of the connotations that the name has so and when you nickname someone arewa you're saying they're beautiful they're classy another one is awelewa awelewa awe ni ewa awelewa and the meaning is one who is small or slender in stature and beautiful another one is ewa wumi ewa wumi and it means beauty is attractive to me or your beauty if it was your if your was even included it would be ewa ewumi if you begin to call someone ewa wumi today you're, you're, you're saying that they're attractive or they're beautiful. You like their beauty, you know. E wawumi, you're pleasing to the eyes. Another one is orente. Orente. And it means gorgeous to be old, beautiful, elegant, you know. Usually, you would usually call a spinster orente. Orente. And it means the names I've mentioned. So if someone is nicknamed orente today, or you, if you begin to call someone Orente, you are saying they're beautiful, they're gorgeous, they're special. Another one is Oge or Ologe. This one is not very common, but if you're called Oge, 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 if you're nicknamed Oge or Ologe, it means you're fashion, you're fashion conscious. You know, you're you're trendy. You have a good immodesty, so you're someone who is like you know, you stand tall. You're classy. You're beautiful. You could be even picky picky with food with clothes with men oge ologe and now in reference to the complexion nicknames that we have in reference to the complexion we have akman bepore akman bepore akman bepore and it literally means as red as palm oil the one who is as red as palm oil this would be for someone who has a lighter uh, shade you know than the regular black that everyone has someone who is light-skinned so a light-skinned person would be this is a picture of palm oil another one is I know this is the name of a soap <laughs> so Dudu is black also is camel powder so Dudu also is black beauty basically dark skin beauty also is a beautiful you know powder that enhances your your beauty in a way so you're saying black and beautiful basically that's the that's the inference that it's making so if you begin if you nickname someone dudu osu today you're saying they are beautiful their black is beautiful dudu osu so if you begin to call me dudu osu today i would assume it's because you think my skin called my skin my dark skin is beautiful and appealing to the eyes another one for dark skin is adumarad or adumad you can exclude the r the ri ri the letter ri yoruba letter ri or the english letter r you can exclude it adumarad or adumad the dark skinned beauty who glows is the transliteration the literally the dark skinned beauty who glows and if you begin to call someone adumada today or adumarada you're saying they're dark skinned and they're beautiful 
So if you call me Aduma Adu today, I was here, or if you nickname me Aduma Adu and you begin to call me that as opposed to my first name, I would assume it's because you think you know I'm dark and I'm beautiful. I'm a dark skinned beauty. Another one in reference to the teeth is Enyi Fujowo. Enyi is teeth. Fufu is white. Owo is money. So Enyi Fujowo is a conjunction of those words and it means teeth whiter than money this nickname or pet name came to be when the yoruba people were still using calories calories as money and usually if you look at calories especially when they're new the front would be white the back might be yellow so teeth whiter than money when you call someone when you find your you're saying first of all that they have a beautiful set of teeth or they have a nice smile or you could be saying that uh, they are precious you could even be saying they are more precious than money in a way you can make that inference because it's teeth whiter than money you are saying you know they are they are priceless another one in reference to the teeth is a jiwumi a jiwumi and people that are called a jiwumi usually have a diastema you know the gap between the two front teeth a jiwumi is diastema is attractive or likable to me and you would usually call a lady that has a gap between her front teeth a jiwumi as you know it makes them really attractive another one is a nyoge a nyoge oge is fashion or beauty like i mentioned earlier a nyi is teeth so a nyoge you are saying they have a beautiful or attractive set of teeth in your gay teeth of beauty teeth of fashion if you transliterate it and it's the it's the nickname that you would call that oh sorry that you would give to someone who has a beautiful set of teeth and you will me is another one it's not as common and you will me and it literally means set of teeth is attractive to me or your set of teeth oh i like your teeth basically and it's the name you call a girl that has a gorgeous set of teeth gorgeous gorgeous set of teeth and you will me another one is any affair any affair the set of teeth that we love <laughs> you might consider this funny but i think it's cute any <laughs> affair the set of teeth we love and if you call someone any affair you're saying i love your teeth you know you have the teeth that we love the set of teeth that people love you know a beautiful set of teeth in reference to the eyes <laughs> you might think uh, it's hilarious that we have pet names or nicknames that make reference to the part of the body but yes we do in reference to the eyes we have Elaine one with delicate eyeballs or a person that has a delicate eyeballs is what it transliterates to or translates to and you would call a lady that has beautiful delicate delicate charming eyes a gay is delicate and you do is eyeballs so the one who holds eyeballs that are delicate you know they may not necessarily have delicate eyeballs or have like you know attractive or charming eyeballs in real life if you decide to call someone Elaine you get but like I said it's a means of like being polite or nice or or showing affection to someone you know whether or not they think or other people think they are they have be a beautiful set of eyes if to you they do then you can call them Elaine you get another one is in reference to the eyes is any and any is eyeball that's what it translates to eyeball and you would nickname someone and you do when they are precious to you so if you have a girlfriend you know or a wife or a fiance or a niece for example and you nickname them and you do, or you begin to call them and you do, you're you're calling them eyeball i mean what's the eye without the eyeball for goodness sake the eyeball is pretty much the eye so it's precious you know in that circle in that eye circle if you look at your height there the round shape that it makes whether it's a full circle or not the oval shape um the the eyeball is the ruler of that of that white space you know she's precious she's uncomparable and you if you nickname someone and you you're saying that 
Olojuede means the one who has the eyes of the or the face of a crayfish. And it's used to address a light-skinned lady as beautiful. So when you call someone Olojuede, you're saying that their face is like that of a crayfish. They are light-skinned and they're beautiful. So if you have a light-skinned girlfriend, you can call her Olojuede. Another name is, in reference to the eyes, is Ojuloge. Ojuloge. The eyes or the face or beauty is what it means or what it transliterates to. It's the nickname or appellation or epithetic name or pet name that you give to someone who has beautiful eyes. Like I said, not necessarily, but usually, you know, before you call them that, it would be because of their eyes. You find their eyes attractive, you know. Sometimes you might want to be nice and call someone who has a uh, pretty normal standard set of eyes but to you you're saying their eyes they may not necessarily be physically like different or beautiful eyes are just eyes but to you you're saying oh i see a beautiful set of eyes you're beautiful so ojuloge ojuloge another one is ojuwumi ojuwumi your eyes are attractive to me or i like your eyes and it's the nickname that you give to someone who has beautiful, charming, attractive, or seductive eyes. Oju wumi, wumi is I like, uh, or is attracted to me, basically. Oju is eyes, so your eyes are attracted, attracted to me. Oju wumi. Another one is oju tone sorrow. Oju tone sorrow, the eyes that speak. Oju tone sorrow, and it's the nickname that you give to someone who has a beautiful charming attractive seductive set of eyes ojuton sorrow the eyes that speak another one is ojuafe the eyes we love and it's the name that you give to a lady that has beautiful eyes as well or a lady that is, that is loved you know or that you consider beautiful because of their physical appearance oju oju could also be face not just eyes oju could be face so you're saying they have a beautiful face they have the face that we love in reference to the character of the person or in reference to the self, we have Eniafe. Eniafe is another nickname that you could give to someone and it means the one we love. If you decide to call them Enimofe, the one I love, that's also, you know. Another one is Adu. So if someone is called Adu, Adu, Adu or nicknamed Adu or given the pet name Adu, Adu means sweetness sweetness and it's for a lady that is gracious kind well-mannered sweet a source of happiness the reasons why so someone could be called called adu or numerous it could be it could be that you know you've always wanted someone like her around and she has come to bring sweetness into your life or into your house that's why you would want to nickname her adu but the reasons are numerous another one is ododo 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 is flower and it's for a lady that you consider gracious, beautiful, precious, attractive. It, you know what flowers do. So if you nickname someone Ododo, you're saying they're precious. Another one is Oyi. Oyi is Oni. Oyi, Oni. So if a girl is nicknamed Oyi, you're saying they're gracious, kind, well-mannered, sweet, a sort of happiness. Oyi, 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 Oni. Another one is Wura. Wura. Wura is gold. Ura is gold and it's for a lady that is gracious, beautiful, precious, attractive, charming. You know, gold is a high class element or resource. So you're, you're, you're saying they're classy as well. They're beautiful. They're attractive to the eyes. They're tempting, you know. So, Ura. Another one is Fadaka. This one is not standard. Like, people would usually prefer to call others Ura or give them the nickname Ura than fadaka because gold is often considered better than silver but if this person is someone who loves silver for example maybe everything they wear has to all the accessories they have have to be silver and they're obsessed with silver you could nickname them fadaka silver and it's very lady that is gracious beautiful precious attractive charming but usually you would call them gura first except they don't like it and they like silver better and then you can call them fadaka this is not a very common like nickname or pet name another one is ide 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 is brass or bronze and ide is uh, an element or you know an element basically that ocean loves so if this person is a child of ocean for example 
and you nickname them Ide, you are saying they are gracious, beautiful, precious, attractive, charming to people. Just like Ide is charming or beautiful or attractive to Oshun. And that's why she wears it, you know. And that is why she has brass fans and brass earrings and brass necklaces and, uh, sorry, um, anklets and wrists, wrists and bangles and whatnot. So you're saying they're beautiful, they're precious. Everyone loves Oshun, sir. You're saying they're beautiful or precious or... But usually you call them Wura first. Like... <laughs> If they are not a child of Oshu, or did, like they would wonder why you're calling them Ide instead of Ura, which is gold, which is like considered the best of the of gold, silver, and bronze. So that's that. Another one is Morontodu. If you nickname someone Morontodu, Morontodu translates to "I have found something sweet." And you would nickname someone Morontodu if you find them gracious, kind, well-mannered, sweet, a source of happiness. The reasons. Are numerous, you know, the reasons why you want to name someone Moro and Todo are numerous. Another one, the last one is Oyofu, Oyofu, and the transliteration or translation is one who satisfies or is satisfying. And you would nickname a person Oyofu if you find them beautiful or satisfying in appearance or character. Oyofu, Oyofu. So this is the end of my video. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, please <laughs> call your girlfriends, your Yoruba girlfriends this name. They are beautiful, beautiful, precious names. When you translate them to English, you don't really like feel the depth of the words. But if you think of, of their essence in Yoruba, they are beautiful, beautiful nicknames and pet names. You can, you can even choose one of these and give yourself one of these pet names. You know. So I hope you enjoy that. If you've not subscribed to my channel yet, this is the time to do so. Thank you. And don't forget to um, like my video. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so um, so I would make the one for, for the guys next. You know, talk about some of their, their own pet names. Because the men are pampered as well. And the men have pet names. Okay, with that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.